what is up my youtube yes and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here i said you hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications like the video comment on the video comment your favorite thing that you like about the video comment some things you want to see and yeah um also i ask that you follow me on all my social media that are in the description box below my instagram my Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok is going to be in there very soon. I just, I don't know if I'm ready to post on TikTok yet because I don't know. But yeah, oh, especially on my Instagram. Uh, I, I said y'all help me get to 3,000 followers. Um, I don't really post too much on my Instagram. I'm going to start, I'm going to start taking pictures and posting and being interactive with my Instagram. But yeah, that's, so if you want to be a part of that and want to see me, uh, follow my Instagram and be in the description box below. And as you have read by that title and seen that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thumbnail that I created, we're going to be doing a juicy, deep, thoughtful Q&A. Um, I did a Q&A for my first YouTube video, but uh, my sister, she the one who came up with the questions. She asked me the questions, so she came up with them on her own. She looked them up on the internet. But this time I asked my Instagram followers to give me some questions for today's video. If you want to be a part of the next Q&A, um, follow me on my Instagram, which will be in the description box below. And yeah, also, once again, before we get started with this video, I ask that you subscribe. Join the family. You don't want to be just a viewer. You want to be a part of family. We're family here. So subscribe and hit that bell button. Make it ring. Make it ring like Cardi B ring. So you'll be notified every single time that I post. You don't want to miss the bangers that I'm posting because that's what I'll come with. I'll come with bangers after bangers after bangers. See, today, if most of you notice, I'm posting two. Two videos. I have the same outfit on the Twitter. Two a day. So I'm posting bangers two to three times a day. So you don't want to miss it. Hit that bell button and join. So you'll be notified every single time I post. Let's get into this. Um, so I asked my Instagram some questions and yeah let's get into it so the first question that I'm gonna go with is longest relationship so my longest relationship um I never really been in a relationship I mean I've been in some when I was younger like elementary school type stuff middle school but um I could say my longest relationship on and off got to be about on and off about four years. I was kind of talking, messing with the same person on and off for about four years. So I'm going to say the longest was on and off four years, but like steady, you know, off relationship. The longest probably was... I want to say three or four months. That's my longest relationship. Like, recently, my longest relationship. But yeah, I want to say like three or four months. Yeah. Um. Someone asks, who was the last person to make you feel genuinely loved? Um, Like I said, I've never been in a real type of relationship. So I'm, I could say the, the last person... Or the last people to make me feel genuinely loved is my family. Um, when I say my family, I mean like my immediate family, cause like them, the, I feel like them, them are. This is speaking for me. I don't know anybody else's situation or not bashing anybody else, but for me, I feel like immediate family are the only ones who have your back. Like they're the only ones who are gonna be there for you through thick and thin. I just feel like immediate family is just. Them your ride or die. So my immediate family, my mom, dad, and my sister. Them are the last people to make me feel genuinely loved. Somebody has a question about the vaccine. I'm not going to get into that. To each his own. Do what you feel that you should do. Um, somebody asks, are you a pimp or a simp? Big pimp vibe. I'm simping over here. Big pimp. Face. Uh, um, let me see. Let me see. Someone asks... Do you regret meeting certain people? Now, I don't regret eating. Eating. What? I don't regret meeting anybody. Um, Yeah, I feel like I meet 
everybody I met in my life, I feel like I met them for a purpose, whether it was to help them or for them to help me or just to be in my life for that moment or to be in my life forever. I feel like I met them for a purpose. So I don't really regret meeting anyone. Um, I don't want to say I regret, but it's some things I kind of wish I can go back and change. Like, I wish I could go back and change to, like, not talk to this person or to take this person seriously or in this friendship not do this or in this friendship do this or not be friends with these type of people, be friends with these type of people or associate myself. You know what I'm saying? But if I had the opportunity, I would go back and I would do that. But I really, I wouldn't really say I regret meeting anybody. Um, why you feel like you single? Um, I feel like I'm single because I had to grow up. I had a lot of childish ways that I had to let go. Um, I was very inconsistent. I could be, I could be interested one day and then the next day I'm like, yeah, this not going to work. So inconsistency, um, I feel like maturity is big, but, um, and I feel like I haven't found my person. I feel like everybody in the world has their person. I feel like I have not found my person. Or I have found my person and have had found my person. And I just kind of ruined it due to, like, immaturity and inconsistency, like I said. But, um, yeah, that's really why I feel like I'm single. Um, yeah. The last serious relationship you've been in. My last serious relationship that I was in was uh, I want to say ninth grade. That was my last serious relationship. Like other like in pre previous relationships prior not prior after <laughs> after ninth grade. Like I was talking to people, but I was also doing my own thing on the side. So I never was really. 100% in, but so my last serious relationship had to be ninth grade. That's when I really cut everybody off. It was just focused on that person. Unfortunately, things didn't work, but I mean, I feel like things happen in your life for a purpose. It was a reason that it didn't work, and it was a reason that we was only talking or going together for a season, but um, yeah, ninth grade was my last serious relationship mm. what are your future goals and it's another question where do i see myself in five years so i'm gonna tie those two together where do i see myself in five years five years i'll be 24. i see myself being successful i see myself growing that's what that's the main thing i want to see growth i don't want to look back when i'm 24 and be like i'm at the same place i was when i was 19. I don't want to do that. So I want to grow spiritually, mentally. I want to grow financially. So yeah, I just want to see growth. That's that's some things I want to see in my life. Um, in the next five years, my future goal is just grow. Just getting better each and every day. I want to be better than I was yesterday. Next week, I want to be better than I was this week. So yeah, I just really want to see growth. And that's why I really want to see myself in five years. I want to see myself where I where I need to be in life because I already told myself at 30 years old I'm retiring <laughs> I'm done working at 30 I want to be set financially stable me my husband and my kids at 30 years old so I'm gonna work my butt off so when I do get 30 I'm set for the rest of my life my kids gonna be set that's where I want to be so yeah by 24 I want to be halfway through my goal of preparing my life to be retired at 30. So, yeah. Yeah, also in five years, I want to see myself in a relationship. And, yeah, just happy. I mean, I hope everybody's goal in five years or where you, where they see themselves in five years just to be happy. Because that's the best thing you could do. Who's your favorite four-year-old? My favorite four-year-old is Isabella Phillips. And y'all will be seeing her on my channel. Very, very soon. Miss Isabella Phillips. Remember that name. Um, let me see. 
have ever got ever cheated or got cheated on. I personally have never got cheated on. If I have, I didn't find out. But for the most part, what I know, I've never got cheated on. Have I ever cheated on anybody? I don't consider cheating in the talking stage. Like, yeah, I've been talking to some, some people and then I was talking to other people, but I don't consider that cheating. Like, in a full relationship, cheating? No, I've never cheated on nobody. Um, yeah, I've never cheated on nobody and I've never got cheated on. Or if I have, I didn't know. But yeah, let me see. I'm gonna ask a couple more questions. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm gonna ask a couple more questions. Probably three or four. Uh, top three TV shows. My top three TV shows I would have to say is um this is a good question. My top three TV shows, I'm gonna say Are You the One? I like that TV show. Um The Vampire Diaries. I can rewatch that over and over and over. So, Are You the One, The Vampire Diaries, and Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Those are my top three TV shows. I can watch those over and over. Um, let me see. Okay, two more. Two more. Let me see. Where are you from? I am from Georgia, Covington, Georgia, to be exact. Born and raised, never lived anywhere else, out of the state. Um, yeah, Georgia. Um, I would love to venture out and see what living is somewhere else would feel like. But yeah, my whole life I lived in Georgia. Um, honestly, it would be honest. I feel like Georgia is the safest state, <laughs> but. Not like criminal wise, but like weather wise, because I do not like um, storms and bad weather. So I just feel like Georgia is the safest. Yeah, we do get hit with some little bad stuff here and there, but for the most part, I feel like it's the safest state. Um, let me see. Two more questions. Let me see. What made you get a Mustang? Um, for the ones who don't know, I drive a 2020 Mustang. Um, I just got it in May. Literally brand new 2020 Mustang. Um, but what made me get a Mustang is, so, I don't know. I just woke up. Like, I've never been the type to just, like, when, you know, when you turn 16, oh, I need a car, I need a car, I need a car. I was like, my sister got a car, so I don't need a car, so... I was kind of, if people want to say, a late bloomer when it comes to getting a car. But this May, I was just like, why not get me a car? So um, I went through the process, through my bank, got approved or whatever. So at first, I wanted to get a Jeep. But I went to like 10 Jeep dealerships all around Georgia. And it just was not working. I did not find the Jeep I wanted, the one I loved. I just did not find it. Or if I did, it's like, it was a car shortage. I don't know if it still is, but it's a car shortage. So they didn't have like chips to go into like the car. So they were jacking the prices up super, super high. So like, I just, with the Jeep, it just wasn't working. So I was like, option two, I want to get a Camaro. Couldn't find a Camaro. I went to like three or four different Chevrolet uh, dealerships. They didn't have no Camaros on the lot. But if they did have Camaros, it was a stick shift. I don't know how to drive a stick shift, so Camaro scratch. So then I've always, ever since I was little, I've always wanted a Mustang. So I was like, why not go back to what you knew when you was little? So I looked around, found a car that I got. It was in Winder, Georgia. Called the dealership. I was like, hey, do y'all still have this car? Da, 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 da. They was like, yeah, if you want to come in and look at it. Went in, looked at it, test drove it, signed the papers. Got the car. But, yeah, that's what really made me get a Mustang. It wasn't my first choice, but 
I'm super satisfied with the choice I got because I got everything I wanted. I said I wanted a sports car. Um, I said I wanted black. Um, I wanted something that I loved. And when I touched draw that car, I instantly loved it. So I got everything I wanted. The only thing that um, I didn't get was <laughs> the um, the ability to take the doors off in the summertime. That's what I wanted for the Jeep. But, hey, stay ain't going to do what stay ain't got to do. <laughs> but, yeah, that's why I chose to get a Mustang. Last question. We got to pick a good one. What have you, for the last question, is going to be, what have you been up to lately? Um, What I have been up to lately is I've had my hands in a couple different things lately. So, I started my YouTube. Um, I feel like I'm I'm doing a thing with my YouTube. Um, I have my own clothing brand. If most of you don't know that I have my own clothing brand it's called born billionaires clothing um i'm gonna put the the description for my instagram that instagram in the um description box but yeah i have my own clothing brand and um i've had it for like uh, a year now i started last year um but it's just it's harder than i thought have your own clothing brand. I thought it was just coming with a logo, get the t-shirts, boom, boom, boom. That's it. But it's a lot harder. It's a lot of business stuff you got to do. It's a lot of sitting down, jotting down notes. It's a lot of stuff you got to do. It's got a lot of planning. It's not as easy as it seems. So I'm getting that off the ground. Well, it's off the ground, but I'm getting that, you know, because I have big plans with that. Um, What else? I just have my hands in a lot of stuff and you don't want to miss it out. So stay tuned because we lit. We're lit. The rest of 2021, all of 2022, we're, we're coming with some heat. But yeah, that's really what I've been up to lately. Just like I said before, I'm retiring at 30. So I'm getting all my stuff in preparation. I'm in preparation, preparation mode right now. Next year, in the year 2022 and 2023, that's in effect mode. I'm I'm making it happen. Right now, I'm getting everything prepared. Pre I cannot talk. I'm getting everything prepared. And I'm getting all the preparation made right now. Between the end of this year and next year. So, when, so the end of next year and the beginning of 2023, it's in go mode. All I got to do is just sit back and do this, do that, do this, do that. But yeah, that's what I've been up to lately. And that was the last question for my juicy, um, deep, real get to know me QA. Um, I ask that you again like, comment, subscribe, turn on your no post notification bell so you be notified every time I post my bangers. Um also I want to address this. I know most of all my videos have been sit down, you know, chit chat videos, but I'm coming with different content. Um, I'm going to come with some pranks. I already got some in the, in the dome. Come with some pranks, some vlogs, challenges, stuff like that. It's just got to be patient. It's coming, though. Not all my videos going to be sitting down, you know, up close and personal. But, yeah, I just appreciate all of you who joined the family and who, um, you know, just helping my, my small channel grow. Because it's, it's about the little things. You got to start small. A flower starts off as a seed, and then it grows to a flower. So we're in seed. We're in seed mode right now. But, yeah, I just thank all of you. And if, if you're watching this in the morning, I hope you have a great day at school, at work, which is a great day overall. I hope you have a blessed one. If you're watching this at night, I hope you have a beautiful sleep, have the amazingness. Here I go with these fake words. I hope you have the best dreams ever. And... Yeah, thank you and catch you guys on the next video. Peace.